The modified glider, at the center of Airbus Upnex hydrogen contrail studying experiment, Blue Condor made its first hydrogen-powered flight over Nevada, in the United States recently. The flight was the company's first ever to use hydrogen as the sole fuel source, and it kicked off a test campaign that will conclude in a contrail measuring mission in early 2024. Hydrogen offers aviation a path to low-carbon operations, yet its combustion produces contrails just like conventional jet fuel. Hydrogen contrails however differ significantly. They don't contain soot or sulfur oxides, but do hold nitrous oxides and a lot of water vapor, up to 2.5x more than kerosene contrails. Both are considered climate-impacting emissions, and as such the aviation industry has a duty to address them. Therefore, as part of the Zero-E project, Airbus is committed to studying the composition of these little-understood hydrogen contrails. Using a modified Arcus J glider, Airbus Upnex's Blue Condor project will take a small hydrogen combustion engine as high as 30,000 feet, and compare its emissions to a similar-sized kerosene engine, flying alongside on board a second aircraft. Both gliders are operated by the Perlon project and the hydrogen engine was assembled by German company Aero Design Works. Blue Condor's flight lasted around 30 minutes, and its aim was to increase the hydrogen engine's thrust to 7,000 feet while stabilizing the aircraft at different speeds. Two further flights have taken place since, performing tests including an engine start at 10,000 feet. The Blue Condor team plans to operate a first contrail studying operation during Nevada's cold weather window early next year. Then the Arcus J will be towed to test altitude by a Grob Egret aircraft instrumented by the German Aerospace Lab DLR. This chase aircraft will then follow behind, using sensors to collect and analyze contrail and atmospheric data. The flight promises to be a big step in furthering understanding of hydrogen's climate impact, and ultimately in reaching Airbus Zero-E target entry into service in 2035.